my head, jeez. God damn, Sharice. If I weren't seeing you now, I would think I'd already died. You're right. God can't be such an asshole to bring us together even after death. So fate smiles upon us once more. How long will it continue? I'd like to know. Fate smiles upon us? Are you saying that after Glory was blown to dust? I see it in my nightmares now. Where would I find another beauty like her? Well? Okay, Hush, don't be nervous. Oh yeah, it seems like you were seriously hurt. Let's try to get out of here. I won't stay here for long. Any ideas? Well, I have some good news for you. The planet is inhabited. I saw some industrial buildings while we were falling down. Damn, if only our shuttle was working. Don't be so dramatic about it. We will make a new one. What do we have? Only a couple of medical kits and a crowbar? Well, at least these idiots were smart enough to provide a shuttle crew with guns. That should be enough for the first time. Let's get out of here. I assume there's a city to the east. Let's go there, find the spaceport, and get the fuck out of here. You know what? I have no idea where we are. Scanners were fried even before the shuttle was in dense atmosphere. I've seen enough. As far as I can see, we're in some pokey hole of a place. Somewhere in the Idaho area. No train will stop here, that's for sure. Fucking I've heard about these before. Space distortion, holes, so on. But I thought they didn't really exist. Let's just hope we won't grow too old during our time here. Come on, cheer up. We'll go to the west, find the fucking town, and... We gotta hurry up, because in a month, I want to tan on a beach somewhere in California.
This one is damn solid. Maybe I should try another one. Hey, here you are. In almost every bar, you'll find at least one crappy, rusty junk. So, let's crawl, Cherise. I don't even want to know how this duct is used. Why do we never go through the doors normal people do? You can return to the desert and try to find a door there. Wait. I could see some klutz is already welding from the other side. Hey, what the hell are you doing, jackass? Damn, he doesn't seem to hear. Well, the one thing I like, he's a humanoid. At least you can always tell where the vitals of a humanoid are. Humanoid or not, it doesn't really matter. Those guys from Shinuan were also looking, okay? Remember? But then Gloria was stuck in the docks for half a year because someone had to grow himself a new backbone. No more of that, Cherise. What can I do to prevent you from reminding me of that case over and over again? Well, I'm giving you a chance, but stay calm. Forget your jokes and investigate locals about the spaceport. You can start from this welder. I will stay silent. You can tell him that I'm your dumb niece, if they ask. Where are we? And what are you doing here? My boss ordered me to weld it, and I did. So you've just arrived? You'll assimilate soon. But I gotta go now. Still have much work to do today. Hey, hello, what is this place? It's Cedric, the northern suburb of the City of Fortune. I'm sorry, man. I'm busy. Y you better talk to my boss. His office is near, in the house by the road. What are you doing? The machines are at your service. Now leave me, I'm thinking. Solving global problems, huh? I have no time. Stop talking. The answer is near. You're insane. Want to make some money? I can offer you a small job. Yeah, we're in. What exactly do we have to do?
Great, here's your money. What are you doing? The machines are at solving. I have. You're insane. What are you doing? The machines are solving. Gl I have no time. You're insane. What are you doing? The machine. So I have. You're insane. What are you doing? The so I have. You're insane. Hey, we were wondering. Hush. So many words. You just came in and poor old KD already has a headache. I have a few questions. Not so fast. Let me tell you something first. I know about your little trouble. My guys have been watching you. So far you've been showing your best side. I'm even beginning to like you. That's why you're still alive. But I think you make too much fuss. Calm down. Just calm down. Time goes slowly in the city of fortune. No one ever hurries. People just do their work and appreciate this way of living. I think you should look around, talk to people, and find a decent job. By the way, I can help you with a job. You are my countryman, after all. Did you say countryman? Oh, forgive the old man. Your shuttle has a system trading emblem on it, so I assume that you were from there. I am from New Sacramento. It's on Dimos. I wasted my youth gambling in Mars City and never thought about leaving the system, but fate didn't care for my plans. Twenty years ago, I found myself on Procyon. Don't ask me how I got there. I hate remembering it. But one day I was fortunate enough to gain some authority with the Numori people. This was more valuable than all the Tectonium on Procyon. In the end, I received the City of Fortune. We came to a mutual agreement. I ensure security in the city, and they do not meddle in my business. A positive arrangement for me, and for the Nomori. Now, do you see how lucky you are? This is a closed city. Strangers aren't welcome here. But leaving the city is much harder than entering it. This is part of the agreement, so I'm sure you will understand me when I say, don't make me do something I don't want to do. If you're a problem for the Empire, then you are my problem. A couple of hours, and your food for Gasto, my pet Scorpiola, is this clear? Well, yes. As for Gasto and the agreement, we don't want to fail you, but... You see, the only thing that both Charisse and I want is to find a spaceport and leave this godforsaken hole as soon as possible. There are a dozen unborn kids, a dog, and a pet turtle waiting for us in the system. We just can't stay here. Now I see how wrong I was when I decided to let you live. You truly are unwise people. If you didn't get the point yet, there is no escape. Accept this fact and get used to it. If you ever think of leaving this place, the Empire will swallow you alive and nobody will come to your aid. You see, I don't give a shit about the Empire. I look at it this way. I am the Emperor, Sharice is the Empress. Now, you know what we want, so do us a favor, tell us how to get to the nearest spaceport, or at least the repair facility. Your biggest drawbacks are obstinance and stupidity. But I'm not gonna kill you now. I think you may be useful to me later. And now get out of here. Oh, and forget that spaceport bullshit. You're gonna pave your way to the Imperial Lab as a laboratory animal with this kind of behavior. Very well. If you won't help us, we'll find the way out on our own. Can we just leave the city? Your dumb stubbornness amazes me. 
You will return here in a couple of weeks anyway. I'll talk to you when you're ready. Now take your girlfriend and get lost. The city exit code is 3631242. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean by when you are ready? You are disturbing me. I'll talk to you when I see that you completely understand the situation. You'll have to plunge into this shit. Go to the city, get a loan at Pete's bank, talk to the bishop, to the doc, and to the guys in the blind sun. Make sure you talk to Kuijo, the scout boss, and ask him for a job. I want to be sure that I can deal with you. Consider this a test, and don't come back until you complete it. Oh yeah, and take my chronometer. Time differs from the Earth's here, that is all. The Great Numori Empire welcomes you to Procyon. What the fuck is that? Charisse, is it really a ghost talking to us? Lanthan, it's just a hologram. I think this man is an official public agent. You'd better be polite to him. Your companion is absolutely right. My name is Lord Trishgain, and I'm here to make you an offer you can't refuse. We saw your shuttle crash and how you managed to escape from the desert. The Empire needs smart, strong, and courageous people like you. I want you to work for us. And should you accept this offer, we will guarantee your safety here on Procyon. Can you help us return home? The Great Empire has more important affairs than granting freight services to a couple of vagabonds from who knows where. So what is your answer to my offer? You should know that I will not be making this offer twice. Here is our answer. You better get your holographic ass away from here before I unload all my guns on you. We don't need any favors. If you don't want to help us return home, we'll handle it ourselves. You've made a big mistake. Your lives now are not worth a pin. Farewell. <laughs> I heard you need a job? You're lucky. I'm looking for people like you. The job is simple. Kill that scum and come back for the money. So do we have a deal? Hmm, interesting. What should I do?
Hate those lines. Pete, old chap, could you please hurry it up? I still have to visit the doctor today. Want to make some money? I can offer you a small job. Yeah, we're in. What exactly do we have to do? We need to see Pete, a banker. I am Pete, and what's more, I'm indeed the banker in this godforsaken place. So consider yourself lucky. You're also lucky because I'm going to give you 2,875 credits in cash. This is what my old friend asked me to do. Strange amount. Did he calculate our job that precisely? He was talking about 3,000, but I don't record expenses for free. Everybody knows it. Besides, there's inflation. Are you new in this city or what? Well, get lost now. I have work to do. And frankly speaking, I don't understand why that old bastard was so generous. Any more questions? No more questions. Bye. Hello, we need your help. My holy duty is to help my neighbor. Tell me about the Empire. The Empire? I love the Empire. Long live the Empire. Blessed are its deeds and ways. What is this place? The Temple of Baal is the only refuge for those who still have the soul. Is there anything interesting going on in town? It's quite peaceful here, thanks, Bayol. But they say that people disappear in the eastern lands. It appears as though the hunters do not do their job well. Who else can I talk to? City Bank is not far. That old Fox Peterson owns it. You can often find Naren near the bank. He's the chief scout and most certainly will have a job for people like you. In the residential area, you'll find two shops and the godforsaken Blind Sun Bar. See you next time. Bye. Glory to the Almighty. You are polite. Bayo will be kind to you. <laughs> <laughs> 